Hello everyone and now welcome to game 3 in the series between Remind and Worker. Remind will be spawning as the purple night elf over here on the top left hand side of Terranus Stan. Meanwhile over here on the top right we have Worker spawning as the yellow orc. What is going to be going down in this particular matchup? We'll just have to wait and see what these players are going to be opening up with. So far, Remind opening up with the Demon Hunter, and he will be Our most likely going up against the Blade Master. Now, what we're really going to see differences on is when they start to get to Tier 2. Are we perhaps going to see Dryads and Bears coming in from the Night Elf player Remind? Or are we going to, in fact, see Druids of the Talon? Druids of the Talon have been really getting a lot of hate lately, I must say. A lot of people don't like seeing Druids of the Talon. They are rather strong in the matchup if you're able to do a lot of the harassment. The problem, though, is that many, many Orc players are now able to deal with those Druids of the Talon as they have become so commonplace. Now, is Remind going to perhaps change things up, go for Keeper of the Grove and Druids of the um, and Dryads and Bears? As you know, a lot of Orc units are ending up to be melee units. All right, Demon Hunter going to be coming back around, and oh, he does not check out the top side off over here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Demon Hunter now going to try to get in some shots there. Oh, he actually gets surrounded, and this is just an absolute nightmare for. The Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter is now going to be in a very, very strange situation. He picks up the Potion of Invulnerability. He gets the kill. And he also uses the Scroll of Town Portal to get out of a very, very bad situation. Now, that situation could have been much, much worse. But the Demon Hunter will live to fight attacked. another day and not give the experience or the all-important item to that Blade Master. Potion of Invulnerability is going to be very, very key here as we now see the Demon Hunter looking to get to level 2. Any way to get a little bit of extra durability on that Demon Hunter right now is going to be very, very helpful. Evasion, essentially giving an additional plus 3 armor on that Demon Hunter. Don't ask me how I know, that is just the way things really work out as you now see the Demon Hunter going after that Ogre Magi here. That Ogre Magi going to be dropping a very, very useful... I think it's a permanent item. I don't think this Ogre Magi drops a consumable item like the one over here at the North Shop. Is it a... Yes, it is a... Boots of... No, Gloves of Haste. Actually, that's a little bit weaker of the item than I, than I thought it would be. As the Blade Master purposely standing there to absorb some damage and take some aggro off of the Grunt. Now... Blade Master now heading back over here to the um, bottom right hand side of the map. Demon Hunter is going to realize that his Ogre Magi was taken out, but he is still looking pretty happy right now, knowing that he has that potion of invulnerability away from his opponent. Worker has Blade gone for a stronghold already. Tree of Ages not too far behind. As we now see the Blade Master of Worker doing some work on the Ogre Magi here. All right, is the Demon Hunter going to be able to get that experience? That is going to be a big, big part of it. Oh, down to 18. Oh, who picks up the item? Potion of uh, Ring of Protection plus two goes to Remind again. So a very, very nice item pickup. And I believe the experience also went to Remind as well. Remind, after what would have been a devastating opening, getting surrounded by creeps next to a Blade Master, ends up recovering very, very nicely, picking up two very strong items as we now see the Tauren Chieftain making its way out. We are going in for Ancients of Lore. We are at Tree of Ages, and this is going to be important. The Altar of Storms, that Tauren Chieftain, not nearly going to be as strong as it is not going to be using Shockwave on relatively low hit point units. Dryads are magic immune. Bears have a lot of hit points. All of that compared to those Druids of the Talon. Blade Master now coming back to the center location here. Let's take a look Players at this 544 four creep camp. Not getting crept out. Torrin Chieftain, on the other hand, has picked up some healing salves and will be doing some creeping over here at this neck of the woods. Now, Terranus Stand is a rather small map that does not have that many creeps. In fact, the highest level creeps are only orange level. 
So you don't normally see very, very high level heroes unless it is a longer game with lots of engagements. Now, with the Night Elf versus Orc matchup being the way it is, I do a not believe any of these particular attack. players will be trying to expand. They're pretty much going to be running off of one base and trying to shut down his opponent. All right, let's take a look at this. It looks as though the Keeper of the Grove is going to be trying to come down across over here, getting some entangles onto some units, and that could be a very big deal. All right, Demon Hunter, there's an ensnare. As we now see some damage already being dealt. All right, there is an entangle on the Raider. The the Raider being the critical unit in this entire setup here as we now see a quick shadow meld. The shadow meld is working rather nicely as we now see another entangle coming across by um, by Remind. All right, we can see Spirit Link has been cast, but is it going to really matter as it looks as though a Grunt taking far too much damage? There it goes. Another entangle could happen, but the Blade Master is right there. Oh, there is a Windwalk Strike. There is a Mana Burn. Staff of Preservation saves. The Keeper of the Grove, who now needs a bit... Well, does not need anything else. Already took some Moonwell Juice. And feels much, much better. Now, the Demon Hunter is just... Or getting very close to level 3. And once the Demon Hunter is at 3, Mana Burn is going to be twice as effective. Shutting down your opponent's casters and heroes is an important important aspect of this matchup all right dryads do need to back off their blade master getting an easy shot keeper of the grove may try to come in for the entangle once more as the keeper of the grove now gonna come across over here there is the entangle onto a low hit point grunt there is spirit link dryads purposely focusing down this grunt here are we gonna perhaps see a staff of preservation if the ensnare cools off in time it is not gonna cool off as the torrent chief and now sitting at level two Perhaps we will see Stomp over Shockwave since, yep, Stomp it is, as the Stomp pretty much misses any remnants or any any attack. unit whatsoever, as now the Dryads are going to be able to poke apart at those Spirit Walkers as well. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter running for his life from that Blade Master. Blade Master has, well, Boots of Speed, going to be able to run much more quickly. 88! Wow, that is going to be a huge, huge deal there, as the Demon Hunter now purposely backing off gonna get the rejuvenation that he always asked for perhaps didn't want to lose that or use that one potion of invulnerability that early on but being attack. forced to it looks as though he will be okay Druid of the Claw is at Adept Training. A second Rejuvenation could be coming in. There you go. That Demon Hunter is now in that front lines, absorbing a bit of damage. Meanwhile, back across over here, Torrent Chieftain has to be very careful. Worker is taking some damage on his Torrent Chieftain. And that may end up... Well, nope, it's not going to fall. It is now looks like getting healed back up with some healing salves. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter is just now going to get to level 3. And that could tip things in favor of the Night Elf. Keeper of the Grove still just moving around down over here. We see an Orb of Venom, and that Keeper of the Blade Grove, that range damage. Attack. If you're able to attack multiple units, that Orb of Venom does deal significant amount of damage. On top of that, the Keeper of the Grove finally has that Thorns Aura, as we're now clearing out this 544 Creep Camp. Remind now finishing his mastery training on the Druids of the Claw. Just of appearance, making sure that there is no sign of the Blade Master nearby as the Demon Hunter is going to come across over here in just a moment. All right, Forest Troll Berserker. Taken out as well as the Druid of the Claw has a good amount of mana. The other two Druids also have a fair amount of mana as well. Down over here, you can see that the Hunter's Hall now getting the Wellspring upgrade. That is a very, very curious location for that Hunter's Hall. As the Keeper of the Grove now sitting at, what, 220 mana, about 215 mana. And now that Blade Master is going to be forced to back off here, waiting for the rest of his army if he does try and engage. This could be a problem in just a moment as a Circuit of Nobility is dropped and picked up by the Demon Hunter. A Roar plus a Circuit of Nobility seems to be plus 12 damage right now. As the Keeper of the Grove now may be making its way back off over here unplayable host all right here we go torrent chieftain now getting ready to go back down perhaps trying to clear out this bottom right creep camp we are at i believe at level was he at level three yeah torrent chieftain actually out leveling the blade master at this point but we'll see if it is it level two endurance no level one endurance it is going to be level two stomp 
but there is it is going to be rather difficult to stomp any units besides the bears and maybe perhaps the heroes as the keeper of the grove is now trying to get into position here all right we saw an ensnare go down we see two godo beasts or three kodo beasts ready to go to play hungry hungry kodo kodos are extremely strong in this matchup as it completely neutralizes one uh, one bear all right let's take a look back across over here bears ready to go bears look like they're ready to engage there are a few wisp as well being brought over the wisp can easily detonate try and remove all of that spirit link as well remove some key critical mana on the torrent chieftain and blade master as the blade master already currently low on mana but really the main dps of this army all right rejuvenation on to the leading bear as the units should be making their way over wellspring upgrade is now done you can see 425 mana much much higher mana capacity mana burn followed by um, mana burn followed by entangle this one blade master is going to take a fair bit of damage here as we're now looking at a beautiful stomp hitting about three bears all right kodo beast has slowly been digested and that is a problem whenever you stomp the kodos may perhaps be able to eat a target that bear uh, a bear needs to get take saved no it does not no staff of preservation as we're still looking at the units still trying to fight back and forth remind is in trouble this time around he's going to get teleported back home perhaps uh, rejuvenate himself off of all of these moon wells 425 maximum mana here going to teleport back in once more to try and do a bit of pressure and it looks like these fights are really really going in favor of worker is worker going to continue to win this next fight and perhaps shift momentum completely in his favor as we're looking at a kodo beast oh no there's a quick abolish magic onto the forest troll berserker after the entangle as the dryads are just inferior in numbers the workers army is just superior in, in pretty much every aspect of this um, larger supply better unit compositions you can see that the dryads are trying to engage here and poke apart these spirit walkers and these kodo beasts you can see one kodo beast has slowly been doing some digestion as the demon hunter now in that front line needs to figure out how to win this battle all right here we go there's another engagement here demon hunter now looking to turn back around the dryads with their slow poison doing what they do best just not allowing anyone to easily chase after them as the demon hunter now comes into the front location spirit walker down to what 65 57 hit points he could actually almost get taken out by that poison down to 50 hit points here as we now see the kodo beast taking a fair bit of damage once more worker looking to finish off a dryad here and continue this push blade master now sitting at three torn chieftain already at three for quite some time as it looks like remind is not going to be able to recover 14 minutes and 30 seconds into this game the blade master able to dance and run around five kodos onto the field one two three four five one two three four five. wow uh, four of the four of the what five bears on the field are currently being digested and that is the big big issue here if remind can perhaps get that blade master that would pretty much be it blade master is now down worker all of a sudden in trouble staff of preservation saving that's going to see what happens here what is going on there as we now see more in, in attacking and engaging away all right demon hunter now coming back the other way mana burn onto a spirit walker demon hunter of remind looking very strong that blade master just pretty much got stuck behind or in front of a wall of kodos and now what is happening here kodo beast down to 300 and 270 hit points is the bear going to be able to make it its way out yes it does digest almost digested and done but down to 17 hit points and does survive due to the cloud now making its way back down over cross over here torrent chieftain um getting in snare or getting slowed down a bit blade master is back in this fight at least for now you can see the blade master does not have very much mana torrent chieftain now trying to get away and wow he gets away with the potion and vulnerability again keeper of the grove now looking to get away keeper of the grove in a little bit of trouble there is an entangle blade master gets this get it dispelled as there goes the blade master at level three 
Torrent Chieftain still running back, now sitting at level 4, as the Kodo Beasts are just working overtime to try and finish off units. Alright, it looks like one bear will be digested, and other bears are already gone as well as we see a scroll of town portal now come in but it's not enough for that last kodo supply count wow remind taking game number three worker not giving the gg perhaps upset at the lag as we move on now into game number four thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it